inverse property a inverse is unique which means a inverse doesn't change for a matrix if whether if you calculate or if i calculate or if someone else calculate so it remains the same for particular matrix second property ab whole inverse is b inverse into a inverse which means reversal law holds in which concept did we see this reversal law we have seen in the transpose of a matrix and also we have seen in the adjoint of a matrix right if a is an invertible square matrix then a transpose is also invertible which means a transpose whole inverse is equal to a inverse whole transpose which means first we can find out the transpose and then inverse it or first inverse it and then transpose it both answers will be the same fourth property the inverse of an invertible square symmetric matrix is also a symmetric matrix first determinant of a inverse is determinant of a whole inverse which means determinant of a inverse is nothing but 1 by determinant of a let's see few questions in this question matrix a is given and 10b matrix is given not b and a relation of b and a inverse is given and we need to find alpha so first use this relation in use we'll get it as b is equal to a inverse so for better simplification just multiply it with a why because when you multiply a inverse with a what you'll get i already discussed this right ab is nothing but identity matrix of order 3 because a and 10b are of order 3 cross 3 now in the question it is given as 10b not b so just multiply it with 10 you will get it as a into 10b into is equal to 10 i3 now you can just multiply it here whether matrix multiplication is possible or not it is possible because both are 3 cross 3 matrix so it is possible so 10 i3 is nothing but just multiply the diagonal elements of a unit matrix with 10 now now you guys multiply the whole entries but here we just need alpha right so just multiply the first row and the third column of second matrix so that will get here a 1 3 which is nothing but this value multiply 1 with 2 you will get 2 minus alpha plus 3 equated with Zero. From here we can get alpha as five. This is the required value of alpha. In this question, an equation is given, and we need to find the a inverse. So you can get an idea like just multiply it with a inverse, because when you multiply, you'll get a square into a inverse. Minus a into a inverse plus identity matrix into a inverse and null matrix into a inverse. So here you will get it as a square into a inverse as a, and we also have a property here a into a inverse is i plus any matrix multiplied with a unit matrix is the same matrix. 
and any matrix multiplied with null matrix will get a null matrix so from here we can get it as inverse as i minus a so this is the required a inverse for this question here next question a matrix is given and unit matrix of order 2 cross 2 and we need to find the value of 10 a inverse in the form of i and a these are the four options and in this only one option is correct so let's do it so first to find the inverse we need to find out the determinant of a which is nothing but multiply the diagonal elements 8 minus multiply the non-diagonal elements 18 you will get it as minus 10 which is not equal to 0 therefore a inverse exists next find the adjoint of a so for a 2 cross 2 matrix we have a trick so what's the trick interchange the diagonal elements and add the negative sign for non-diagonal elements so now Using the formula of A inverse, that is 1 by determinant of A into adjoint of A, we can find the A inverse. So it's nothing but 1 by minus 10, 4, minus 2, minus 9, and 2. But in the question, we want 10 a inverse so for that 10 by minus 10 4 minus 2 minus 9 and 2 so therefore required 10 a inverse is minus 4 2 9 minus Now coming to the options, from the first option it is 4i minus a, nothing but 4 into the identity matrix that is 4004 minus the original a matrix that is 2294, you will get it is 2 minus 2 minus 9 and 0 which is not the required answer so this option is not correct next option 6i minus a so here at 6006 zero, zero, six, and minus 2294 you will get it as 4 minus 2 minus 9 and 2 so this is also not the required answer so let's go with the option d let's go with option d why because 6i minus a looks similar to this 10 a inverse but it's not correct so let's take the negative of this which is nothing but a minus 6i so here it is nothing but the negative of 6i minus a what we got 6i minus a negative of 4 minus 2 na, minus 9 and 2 now what will get minus 4 2 9 minus 2 so this is the answer which matches with the 10a inverse so this is the correct answer